Linearized gravity is an approximation scheme in general relativity in which the nonlinear contributions from the spacetime metric are ignored, simplifying the study of many problems while still producing useful approximate results. The method In linearized gravity the metric tensor g of spacetime is treated as a sum of an exact solution of Einstein's equations, often Minkowski spacetime, and a perturbation h. Display style h g equals eta plus h. Display style g equals eta plus h, where eta display style eta is the non-dynamical background metric that is being perturbed about and h display style h represents the deviation of the true metric g display style g from flat spacetime the perturbation is treated using the methods of perturbation theory linearized by ignoring all terms of order higher than 1 quadratic in h display style h cubic in h display style h etc in the perturbation topic applications the einstein field equations fa being nonlinear in the metric are difficult to solve exactly and the above perturbation scheme allows linearized einstein field equations to be obtained these equations are linear in the metric, and the sum of two solutions of the linearized FA is also a solution. The idea of ignoring the nonlinear part is thus encapsulated in this linearization procedure. The method is used to derive the Newtonian limit, including the first corrections, much like for a derivation of the existence of gravitational waves that led, after quantization, to gravitons. This is why the conceptual approach of linearized gravity is the canonical one in particle physics, string theory, and more generally quantum field theory where classical bosonic fields are expressed as coherent states of particles. This approximation is also known as the weak field approximation, as it is only valid if the perturbation h is very small. <laughs> weak field approximation In a weak field approximation, the gauge symmetry is associated with diffeomorphisms with small displacements. Diffeomorphisms with large displacements obviously violate the weak field approximation, which has the exact form for infinitesimal transformations. Delta she h equals delta she g minus delta she Eta equals L she G equals L she Ada plus L she H equals she new mu plus she mu new plus she alpha h mu nu alpha plus she mu alpha h alpha nu plus she nu alpha h mu alpha d x mu D x new display style delta underscore vec she h equals delta underscore vec she g delta underscore vec she eta equals math call l underscore vec she g equals math call l underscore vec she eta plus math call l underscore vec she h equals left she underscore new mu plus she underscore mu new plus she caret alpha h underscore mu new alpha plus she underscore mu caret Alpha H underscore alpha new plus she underscore new carrot alpha H underscore mu alpha right DX carrot mu O times DX carrot new 
where L display style math call L is the Lie derivative and we use the fact that eta does not transform by definition. Note that we are raising and lowering the indices with respect to eta and not g and taking the covariant derivatives Levi -Civita connection with respect to eta. This is the standard practice in linearized gravity. The way of thinking in linearized gravity is this the background metric eta is the metric and h is a field propagating over the spacetime with this metric. In the weak field limit, this gauge transformation simplifies to delta she h mu nu approximately equals l she eta mu nu equals she nu mu plus she mu nu Display style delta underscore vec she h underscore mu nu approximately left math call l underscore vec she ada right underscore mu nu equals she underscore nu mu plus she underscore mu nu. The weak field approximation is useful in finding the values of certain constants, for example, in the Einstein field equations and in the Schwarzschild metric. Topic. Linearized Einstein field equations The linearized Einstein field equations linearized FA are an approximation to Einstein's field equations that is valid for a weak gravitational field and is used to simplify many problems in general relativity and to discuss the phenomena of gravitational radiation. The approximation can also be used to derive Newtonian gravity as the weak field approximation of Einsteinian gravity. The equations are obtained by assuming the spacetime metric is only slightly different from some baseline metric, usually a Minkowski metric. Then the difference in the metrics can be considered as a field on the baseline metric, whose behavior is approximated by a set of linear equations. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Derivation for the Minkowski metric. Starting with the metric for a spacetime in the form G a B equals Ada A B plus H A B display style G underscore ab equals Ada underscore ab plus H underscore ab where Ada A B display style Ada underscore ab is the Minkowski metric and H A B display style H underscore ab sometimes written as E gamma A B display style epsilon gamma underscore ab is the deviation of G A B display style G underscore ab from it H Display style h must be negligible compared to eta. Display style eta h mu nu one. Display style left h underscore mu nu right l l one. And similarly for all derivatives of h. Display style h. Then one ignores all products of h. Display style h. Or its derivatives with h, display style h, or its derivatives equivalent to ignoring all terms of higher order than one in e, display style epsilon. It is further assumed in this approximation scheme that all indices of h and its derivatives are raised and lowered with eta, display style eta. The metric h is clearly symmetric since g and eta are the consistency condition. G A B G B C equals delta A C display style G underscore ab G caret B C equals delta underscore a caret C shows that G A B equals eta A 
B minus H A B display style G caret ab equals eta caret ab H caret ab the Christoffel symbols can be calculated as two gamma B C A equals H A B C plus H A C B minus H B C A display style two gamma underscore B C caret a equals H caret O underscore B C plus H caret O underscore C B H underscore B C caret O where H B C A equals D E F Ada A R H B C R Display style h underscore b c caret a stackrel mathrm def equals eta caret r h underscore b c r, and this is used to calculate the Riemann tensor two r a b c d equals two gamma b d c a Minus gamma b c d a equals eta a e h e b d c plus h e d b c minus h b d e c minus h e b c d minus h e c b d plus h b c E D equals display style two R carrot a underscore B C D equals two gamma underscore B D C carrot a gamma underscore B C D carrot a equals eta carrot a H underscore eb D C plus H underscore ed B C H underscore B D E C H underscore eb C D H underscore E C B D plus H underscore B C ed equals equals Ada A E H E D B C minus H B D E C minus H E C B D plus H B C E D equals H D B C A minus H B D A C plus H B C A D minus H A C B D Display style equals Ada carrot A H underscore Ed B C H underscore B D E C H underscore E C B D plus H underscore B C Ed equals H underscore D B C carrot a H underscore B D carrot a underscore C plus H underscore B C carrot a underscore D H carrot a underscore C B D Using R B D equals Delta C A R A 
b c d display style r underscore b d equals delta caret c underscore a r caret a underscore b c d gives two r b d equals h d b r r plus h b d r r minus h b d minus h b d r s eta r s Display style two R underscore B D equals H underscore D B R carrot R plus H underscore B drive carrot R H underscore B D H underscore B D R S eta carrot R S For the Ricci scalar we have R equals R B D eta B D equals H a b a b minus white medium square h display style r equals r underscore b d eta caret b d equals h underscore ab caret ab square h. Then the linearized Einstein equations are eight pi t b d equals R B D minus R A C Ada A C Ada B D two Display style eight pi t underscore b d equals r underscore b d r underscore a c eta carrot a c eta underscore b d two or eight pi t b d equals h d b r r plus h b d r r minus h b d minus h b d r r minus h s r r s eta b d 2 plus h a a eta b d plus h a c r r eta a c eta b d 4 Display style eight pi t underscore b d equals h underscore d b r caret r plus h underscore b drive caret r h underscore b d h underscore b d r caret r h underscore s r caret r caret s eta underscore b d two plus h underscore a caret a eta underscore b d plus h underscore a c r caret r eta caret a c eta underscore b d four or equivalently 8 pi t b d minus t a c eta a c eta b d 2 equals r b d Display style eight pi t underscore b d t underscore a c at a caret a c eta underscore b d two equals r underscore b d sixteen pi t b d minus 
T A C eta A C eta B D two equals H D B R R plus H B D R R minus H B D minus H B D R S eta R S Display style sixteen pi t underscore b d t underscore a c eta carrot a c eta underscore b d two equals h underscore d b r carrot r plus h underscore b drive carrot r h underscore b d h underscore b d r s eta carrot r s. Topic with a coordinate condition. If one uses the Lorentz invariant harmonic coordinate condition h alpha beta gamma eta beta gamma equals 1 2 h beta gamma alpha eta beta gamma Display style h underscore alpha beta gamma eta caret beta gamma equals frac one two h underscore beta gamma alpha eta caret beta gamma. Then the last form above of the linearized Einstein equation simplifies to sixteen pi t b d minus t a c eta a C eta B D two equals minus H B D R S eta R S Display style sixteen pi t underscore b d t underscore a c eta carrot a c eta underscore b d two equals h underscore b d r s eta carrot r s. To solve it, this can be rewritten as delta h b d equals minus sixteen pi g c. Four T B D minus T A C Ada A C Ada B D two plus two H B D C two T Two display style delta h underscore b d equals minus sixteen pi g over c caret four t underscore b d t underscore a c eta caret a c eta underscore b d two plus frac partial caret two h underscore b d c caret two partial t caret two, where increment is the Laplacian on a spatial slice. If the stress energy changes slowly, velocities are low compared to c, then this gives h b d r equals minus 1 4 pi minus 16 pi g c 4 t b d s minus t a C S Ada A C Ada B D two plus two H B D S C two T 
2 1 r minus s d 3 s display style h underscore b d r equals frac minus 1 4 pi int left minus 16 pi g over c caret 4 t underscore b d s t underscore a c s eta caret a c eta underscore b d 2 plus frac partial caret 2 h underscore b d s c caret 2 partial t caret 2 right frac 1 vert r s vert d caret 3 s as a generalization of the Newtonian formula for gravitational potential. This is solved iteratively by first replacing the second time derivative by zero and then inserting the h so obtained repeatedly until convergence. Topic applications The linearized FA are used primarily in the theory of gravitational radiation, where the gravitational field far from the source is approximated by these equations. Topic see also correspondence principle gravitoelectromagnetism Lanczos tensor parameterized post-Newtonian formalism post-Newtonian expansion quasi-normal mode topic references Stephanie Hans 1990 General Relativity An Introduction to the Theory of the Gravitational Field Cambridge Cambridge University Press ISBN 0-521-37941-5 Adler, Ronald, Bazin, Maurice, and Schiffer, Menahem. 1965. Introduction to General Relativity. New York: McGraw-Hill. ISBN 0-07-000423-4.